Did you just get orders to come to Hill Air Force Base in Utah? Maybe you're PCSing from overseas. You've been living on base for the last couple of years and you're ready to be off base, but you still want the conveniences of the BX, the commissary, maybe the class six, and of course getting to work. Or maybe you're coming from somewhere like DC where you have been commuting your brains out for the last couple of years and you're ready still to get a house, but you don't want the commute. You wanna be close to work and Hill Air Force Base. I'm here today to talk about the five cities that surround Hill Air Force Base and what they have to offer so you can make a great decision when you get here. I'm Stacy Christofferson with C4 Real Estate Team and Coldwell Banker in Farmington, Utah. If this is your first time to our channel, please click subscribe and that notification bell. We're super glad you're here. We want you to learn everything there is to know about living in Northern Utah, where to go, what to eat, where to eat, and of course, buying and selling real estate here. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I was an Air Force spouse for 20 years. My husband served active duty 20 years in the Air Force. We moved 13 times in 16 years, so we became professionals, much like most of the military becomes. Um, we lived off base most of the time when we moved. When we got to Hill, we had to live on base, and so we did that, and um, we currently live in Ogden Valley. But if you're coming here and you've been living on base and you don't wanna do that anymore, but you want the convenience of the base, Commissary BX, whatever you need, and of course, close proximity to work, then um, today today's a great video for you. I'm gonna talk about the five cities that surround Hill Air Force Base, kind of what they have to offer, their medium price of real estate if you wanna buy a house, the schools, and some resources that you can look into when you're looking to come buy a house. The first city and where the South Gate to Hill Air Force Base sits is Layton, Utah. So the South Gate to Hill Air Force Base is a 24-7 gate, as is the North Gate, but the South Gate is where Layton sits. It has a population of approximately 76,000 people. Um, the elevation here is about 4,400 4, feet <laughs> above sea level. It's super cool. It has all kinds of stuff here. Tons of hotels, um, tons of restaurants, there's a video that we have about Layton where it talks about Restaurant Row and there's pretty much every kind of restaurant you could hope for within a mile. The median sales price of homes that sold in March of 2021 is $382,000 with an average days on market of five. Yep, five days on market. It's fast and furious here for sure. In Layton in March, the lowest single family home sold for $237,000 the highest sold for $887,000. So there's a huge range in Layton. Layton is one of those cities when I get contacted by military clients, they always mention Layton first. And I think it's just because that's where the base is and that's the city they know. Layton on the east side, you're gonna have some older homes on the west side, of course, um, which is I-15 is the divider. So east of I-15 or west of I-15. So East Layton, you're gonna have some older homes, but there is new construction, which is a whole nother video because that's really hard to get right now too. But on the west side then, you can get some new construction as well. The homes, um, there are some older homes on the west side, but for the most part within the last 15 or so years, you're gonna find homes on the west side. Schools in Layton are great. If you live near the base, you're gonna either go to Layton High School or Northridge High School. Both are really good. A great resource for schools is greatschools.net. I would check that out for rankings, uh, free lunch programs, teacher to student ratio, and a bunch of other statistics to help you pick which school district you might wanna be in. Davis County is where Layton sits and it's a great school district. In March alone, 80 homes sold in Layton in March of 2021. Last month, 80. It's a very popular area. It's 24 miles to Salt Lake City and super close um, to the mountains. So Layton's a great choice. The second city I wanna tell you about is Clearfield. So you're also gonna access probably the South Gate from Clearfield. Um, clear, when you pass from Layton into Clearfield, you won't even know it. That's kind of how our cities work around here. You go from one to the other and you just happen to now be in Clearfield, say, from Layton. 
Clearfield High School is in Clearfield, obviously. It has really ramped up its game in the past few years, so check that out again on greatschools.net, Clearfield High School. Look at the elementary school and junior highs as well, so you are comfortable with those schools. The population at Clearfield is about 31,000 people and is again about 25 to 30 minutes to Salt Lake City, depending how fast you drive. The median price of homes that sold in March in Clearfield was $345,000. A condo sold for $192,500 and the highest single family home was the $475,000. 30 homes sold in Clearfield just in March of 2021. Now we're gonna head northeast just a little bit. We're gonna go to South Weber. So yep, it's not South Weber, we say it's South Weber. You'll find that a lot of the city names here in Utah are spelled and pronounced super weird. So hang in there. Don't feel bad if you don't know how to say it. It takes a minute. So South Weber, I like to call it its own little island. Um, it, it is a population of about 7,300 people, just 7,000 people. They do have an elementary school there and they also have a new charter school that's kindergarten through ninth grade, Highmark Charter School. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Those kids in South Weber for high school will go to Northridge, which again is just out the south gate of Hill Air Force Base. While only four homes sold in South Weber in March, the high was $575,000. But what I can tell you is that I had buyers who lost out on a home in South Weaver and the list price was $725,000. So it really depends. The one thing about South Weaver you need to be aware of is it can be very windy. You kind of sit at the bottom of Weaver Canyon. And so on windy days, South Weber kind of gets hit. As you drive by, you kind of see the trees are leaned to the side. That's why they have a lot of wind there. So um, you can get out of it. There's pockets of it where you can get out of it with your house there. You just It's just something you want to think about. One thing in addition to note about South Weber is it literally sits under the flight pattern for Hill Air Force Base and the F-35s, F-16s, and the other planes that they fly. So if jet noise is not your jam, then you don't want to live in South Weber. It also has a road. If you um, hop into South Weber from 89, you can go all the way across South Weber and end up in Riverdale. So while we're headed to Riverdale, let's go to South Ogden. South Ogden has a population of about 17,000 people. It has McKay D Hospital and Ogden Regional is super close over there as well to South Ogden. There's some great neighborhoods in South Ogden. Shadow Valley is one of my favorite. Their elementary school is ranked as one of the highest. Um, and it's just, it's super pretty over there. You, it's kind of a little bit more mountainy. Um, so South Ogden's a great option as well. Bonneville High School is in South Ogden, so check that out. South Ogden's about 32 miles from Salt Lake City. 10 homes sold in March and the high was $610,000. So you kind of have this mix in South Ogden of older homes and newer homes. Um, again, Shadow Valley is up on the east side, if you will, of Harrison. And man, what an awesome neighborhood. I would love to show you around Shadow Valley. It's a great neighborhood. I think in um, from South Ogden to your best bet would be to access the South Gate of Hill Air Force Base. Now, if your job is on the north end of Hill Air Force Base, which is huge, Hill Air Force Base is about 20,000 acres, so it's super big. It, there are 20,000 civilians-ish that work on Hill Air Force Base and about five to 6,000 active duty military. So it's a huge installation. So if you wanna be on the north side because that's where you're coming in and going to work, Roy is an option for you. Salt Lake City Board of Realtors just voted Roy the number nine most affordable city on the Wasatch Front. And you can find, again, a good mix of old and new in Roy. The Roy Aquatic Center's over there for kids. The Hill Aerospace Museum is right there at the North Gate as well. So that's super cool. We'll do a video on that because that's a great site to see. The population of Roy is about 39,000 people. 
and it's it's a little further to Salt Lake City maybe 30 to 35 minutes but you just hop on the highway right off 5600 which is where the north gate is as well in Roy alone in March of 2021 49 homes sold again such crazy numbers but there are homes for sale but they are flying off the shelves like toilet paper during a pandemic but again, it was voted one of the most affordable zip codes by the Salt Lake Board of Realtors in the Wasatch Front. So definitely a place to check out if you wanna be off base, but on the north side. There's a ton more places that we're gonna talk about and teach you about so you can make a great decision when you PCS to Hill and wanna live off base. In the meantime, check out this link. I want you to know everything about your VA eligibility. Do you qualify? What are the rules? What do you need to use your VA loan? So that link is gonna is gonna show you um, everything you need to know. You just download your free VA eligibility guide and you can learn everything you need to know about it. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.